Sure, having a fast car might be important in GTA Online, but speed doesn't always equal style, so it's about time somebody gave GTA's less appreciated vehicles a little love and recognition. We're going to be spending today's episode of The Countdown covering the 10 slowest vehicles in GTA Online. Before we get started, be sure to subscribe to Arcade Cloud News right here on YouTube for all the best news and lists in gaming. Now, let's get into it. Number 10. Stafford the Ennis Stafford is a classic sedan largely inspired by the 1959 Rolls-Royce Silver Cloud and the 1955 Rolls-Royce Silver Wraith. First introduced in GTA San Andreas, the Stafford helped to boost CJ's attractiveness, making it a vehicle for picking up girlfriends. Since the Stafford is based on one of the world's most expensive car brands, it's going to cost you a pretty penny at the legendary motorsport. Currently running at a price of $1,272,000, the Stafford only tops out at 93 .5 miles per hour, and it's the perfect vehicle for you and your crew to dress up in some pinstripe suits and drive around Los Santos like 50s gangsters. Number 9. Surge the Chevel Surge is based on the Chevrolet Volt, and considering it runs primarily on electricity, it's one of the most environmentally friendly ways to cruise around Los Santos. It's not exactly a fast electric vehicle either, hitting speeds up to about 93.5 miles per hour. Although you can pick up the Surge from San Andreas Super Autos for $38,000, you can also easily find it around the city, especially downtown and in La Puerta. Don't be mistaken though, electric vehicles aren't always slow. After all, the electricity-powered Tesseract is one of the fastest in the game. Number 8. Yoga Classic The Bravado Yoga Classic was added to GTA Online during the 2016 Bikers Update, and it's largely based on the Ford E-Series. Despite only hitting speeds up to 91 miles per hour, the Yoga Classic is popular amongst biker gangs, and with a bright green paint job, it's an extremely popular purchase for GTA's Alien Cruise. The Classic is a bit more useful than the original version of the vehicle too, considering it can hold up to five players instead of just two. You can pick up a Yoga Classic for yourself from San Andreas Super Autos for $135,000. Seven, Bug Stars Burrito. The D-Class Bugstars Burrito was added to GTA Online during the Diamond Casino update in 2019, and it's largely based off of the Chevrolet Express. Those who played Story Mode, though, will recognize it as being the primary vehicle for the Jewel Heist. Considering the vehicle is used during the Diamond Casino Heist and disguises you as a crew of exterminators, the Bugstars Burrito will run you a whopping $598,500 from Warstock Cash and Carry. If you don't care for this variant of the vehicle, though, you can find standard D-Class Burrito cruising around Los Santos, especially near construction sites and in industrial areas. Either way, you'll only be able to go about 90.75 miles per hour in this bad boy, but it's a great vehicle for criminal activity. Number 6. Ingot the Volker Ingot, aka your grandma's station wagon, is based off of the VW Passat and the Nissan Stagia. The vehicle first appeared in Liberty City during Grand Theft Auto 4, and later on in GTA Chinatown Wars. It only hits speeds up to 90 miles per hour and can be purchased for $9,000 from San Andreas Super Autos, or it can be found driving around San Andreas, especially in the northern part of the map near Polito Bay. There isn't a whole lot of use for the Ingot in-game, unless you're like me and you enjoy fully customizing boring vehicles to throw off every Everyone else driving around your GTA lobby. Number 5. Dilettante. The Karen Dilettante is based off of the Toyota Prius, which is easily the most popular electric vehicle out there. It first appeared in GTA 4 and is used by Meriwether as a patrol vehicle within GTA 5 story mode. Just like in the real world city of Los Angeles, this car can be found all over Los Santos. If you're impatient and don't want to go out looking for one though, you can pick it up from San Andreas Super Autos for $25,000. It'll only go up to 88.5 miles per hour though, so you're probably better off just stealing one. Number 4. Fajaloa the Volker Fajaloa is based on a series of different vehicles, including the Volvo Amazon Wagon and the Chevrolet Nomad. It's essentially a classic beach sedan, and you can even choose variants of it that contain a surfboard strapped on the roof. The Fajaloa doesn't have the best steering, but upgrading the suspension can quickly fix that. It's certainly a stylish vehicle, which is why it'll run you $335,000 from San Andreas Super Autos. Despite this, it'll only hit speeds up to 87.5 miles per hour, so you're better off sticking to the beach with this one. Number 3. Regina 
The Dundreary Regina is based on the Chevrolet Caprice wagon, and it's another classic station wagon that you might have found in the 80s or early 90s. It first appeared in GTA Vice City and has been in every mainline game since. You can find the Regina driving around Los Santos, specifically on the Route 68 highway, oftentimes with luggage strapped on the roof. It's also able to be purchased from San Andreas Super Autos for $8,000, but can only go a measly 86.25 miles per hour. Number 2. Faggio the Pegasi Faggio is GTA's classic moped, and it's based off of the real-world Piaggio Vespa. It first appeared in GTA Vice City and was famously introduced in the Gunrunner mission, where gang members chase you on the scooters. The Faggio mod version can only be purchased from San Andreas Super Autos for $55,000, but you can often find the standard edition in traffic around Los Santos urban areas. Sure, it only goes 74.25 miles per hour, but who hasn't taken one of these bad boys to Los Santos Customs and spent thousands customizing it? It's just fun. Number 1. Surfer And here we have it, the slowest vehicle in all of GTA Online. The BF Surfer. The Surfer is based on the Volkswagen Type 2, and it's widely known as the Essential Hippie Bus. The vehicle only hits speeds up to 67.25 miles per hour, and it'll run you $11,000 at San Andreas Super Autos, but you can easily find one parked at Vespucci Beach, which is pretty accurate, considering you can often find the Volkswagen Type 2 parked at the real-world location of Venice Beach. Sure, you might not be able to complete any heists with this one, but it'll certainly help you pull off that beach bum look, if that's what you're going for. And that covers our list of the 10 slowest vehicles in GTA Online. Would you add any of these to your GTA garage? Let us know in the comments down below. Don't forget to subscribe to Arcade Cloud News right here on YouTube for more of the best news and lists in gaming. As always, thanks for watching.